I'm joined on Gearbox today by Patrick Withers, who's production manager for the Music Box in Sydney, as well as a very competent sound guy. Pat, welcome. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Welcome. Um, today we're looking at the Shure ULXD range of digital radio mic products. Um, and I guess probably what we should we should start out with is a little bit of background, which is that this is a system that transmits audio in a digital format. It's 24-bit, uh, 48K sample rate. And um, yeah, it, we think it's quite cool. Pat, what are some things that are important to you as a sound guy with radio mics? What's most important? Uh, most important thing is it needs to be simple, um, mm -hmm. as in easy to tune in. Once you set your frequencies, easy to sync. Uh, it has to be secure, as in it it's not locking, jumping across frequencies, uh, and uh, very just simple to use. That's the most important thing. Okay, so as far as simplicity goes, the 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 channel scan on this is uh, is inherited a few other things from the other Shure products. Yep. Um, you've got the ability to go through and scan. It comes in two frequency groups for the Australian market. There's H51, which is 534 to 598 meg and L51, which is the group that we're currently using and I'm currently talking on, in fact, which is 6, 632 to 696 meg. Um, the channel scanning process on this, had you've had a play, what do you think? Yeah, it was very simple. Just select um, auto scan, finds the uh, available frequencies for you, uh, and you simply sync it. Sync, hold the mic in front of it, it's done in less than a second. The digital uh, transmission is a, bit, is a bit more robust than analog, I guess, so what Shaw has been able to do is stack digital channels more tightly into the same bandwidth. Um, so what that means is we've got a greater number of units that we can run concurrently mm. in one system. We did a rescan here earlier on and there's I think 66 available. 66, yeah, yeah. which is incredible. What about battery life? Uh, it's really good, they use rechargeable batteries. Mm -hmm. They come with uh, these rechargers here that you simply click, pack in, or you can remove the battery, which I won't do and uh, slip the battery in itself on its own. Yep. Uh, battery life is good. Um, currently on that mic, it actually tells you how much is left. I think that says seven hours. And seven hours and 14 minutes. And left. that's accurate to within 15 minutes, mm. according to Shaw. Um, now, sound quality. Thoughts on sound quality on radio mics? Uh, well, old theory is it doesn't, doesn't sound as good as a mic plugged into a cable. Uh, I listened to that before and it sounds great. There's 120 dB of dynamic range on the transmitter, mm. um, which means that it's transmitting uncompressed. There's no compansion on this system, which on analog RF systems is something that we've had to do in the past just to make them functionally do what we needed to. Yep. So yeah, basically it's transmitting in digital, but it's uncompressed. Mm. When you go to adjust the gain, you're in fact not adjusting the gain on the transmitter. Um, the mic goes through a little preamp, converts to digital. Where your gain adjustment happens, is on the front of your unit here, uh, simply up or down. Um, also on the back, we've got we've got our captive DC power input, um, and we've got uh, an Ethernet port. So on these receivers, you can actually run them via uh, a little network switch and connect it up to Wireless Workbench Six and uh, remotely manage it in the future, which is pretty cool. Mm. the The whole digital transmission thing has brought about an, an interesting. Uh, potential, which is that we can now encrypt the audio that's coming from the mic to the receiver. And in fact, this audio that you're hearing of me talking is encrypted with 256-bit AES encryption, which is the same thing that's used for internet banking. So it's relatively secure. Um, the encryption process is really easy. You just enable it on the front panel of the receiver, mm. and then you resync. And every time you resync, it rolls the encryption key as well. So it doesn't matter how many units you have, you simply can't cross over. Yeah, yeah. Right now, there is there is no other receiver around that can pick up the radio mic I'm talking on. So it's nice to know that that my my comments and thoughts are securely secure. contained within the airwaves. Yeah. So what do you reckon, Pat? I like the unit. I'm uh, not very keen on the single power supply or the fact that it's not an IEC. Uh, what other options are there? Have, have I got some news for you? <laughs> just released, it's not in Australia yet, but just released is the dual and the four unit receiver, which is IEC power and also dual ethernet ports. Mm -hmm. um, again, just a single pair of antennas that splits it in. So that's four unit in one RU? It's four receivers in one rack unit. And the dual ethernet ports means you can also, as well as being able to manage it via ethernet, you can use the other port to output the audio over a Dante stream. Mm. So if you've got a console which takes Dante input, 
one Ethernet, one Cat5 Ca- cable. Cascade your radio mics, one Cat5 cable, and um, there's your up to, I don't know, however many channels you want. Mm. Here's uh, 66 if we want to. Yeah, well, it's whatever you can fit in a Dante stream. Yeah. Um, the transmitters feel good. Um, easy power switch, on off, it's a slide. You can lock that, which, which is one said. important thing. You need to be able to lock it, yeah. So, Pat, like in your application for what you do, live production, is this a system that would work for you? Yeah, I believe it'll be clean, simple, especially I'm really liking the idea of the uh, you know, one RU, four receivers. That's, mm. that's really clean. You can have a two RU rack with eight, you know, ready to go with eight radio mics. Yeah. Walk into a venue, you just simply set up your fre- scan for frequencies, sync your mics, you're ready to go. Or even for your prep time, it's gonna cut, it's gonna save money because it's gonna cut your prep time down on events. So in the factory and you're prepping everything ready to go, you're doing it a quarter of the time. You're not throwing away batteries every time you do a gig either. Exactly, much cheaper. The batteries, the batteries are not cheap. The batteries about ninety bucks, but but um, a pound of batteries isn't cheap either. Yeah, exactly. Um, and all up for a kit, if I said about two and a half. Yeah, that seems for what I've seen today, it seems like great value. Cool. There you go. Sure, you LXD.